Hello guys, how are you guys doing? Good morning from Evil Says Nigeria. Good morning, how are you guys doing? Hope you guys are well. This, this, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome to my channel. This is Adon Haji, one of you most states. This is Adon Haji's channel. Welcome. Please don't forget to subscribe and share my video. There's this particular video I want to drop. Kindly watch out for the video. After watching, let's meet at the comment section as usual. Okay? You guys already know that I love you guys and I'll keep loving you guys. You guys are always the best. Kindly subscribe. Thumbs up. Okay? If they serve you suya, fried fish, fried pork meat, fried yam, akara, and any other thing with textbook, notebook, and especially newspaper, just know that you are not far from contacting Lata fever. This is why I'm saying this. We collected newspaper from those people selling akara, fried yam, fried fish, fried pork meat, and newspaper too was also collected from those our brothers selling suya. This paper were cultured or tested to know the kind of bacteria in them. And the bacteria that was discovered include E. coli, Protus vulgaris, Protus mirabilis, Citrobata frondii, Bacillus species, and other bacteria. All this bacteria that was discovered from the newspaper is also naturally found in rat poo and urine. This newspaper must have been kept in a room for a very long time. Rats and cockroaches will play hide and seek and even raise their family inside this paper. And in the process of finding true love, they will pull and urinate inside this paper. If these rats are carrying the Lassa virus, this Lassa virus will be transmitted to you if you eat anything wrapped inside that paper. Apart from that, this newspaper may also carry diseases like listeriosis and leptospirosis. Listeriosis and leptospirosis are serious bacterial infection that is caused by eating food contaminated with rat food and urine. So with this in mind, I 